Okay, welcome back. This is part 16 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we finished up our user login, um, and I explained why mine wasn't working, because I was having a server problem. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to style our form for our, our register page and our login page, and then eventually add our uh, a little like status, status area up here in our header. Um, first thing I want to get to is uh, something that uh, someone was watching the series and they uh, they uh, said something to me in a message or comments or something uh, but anyway um, what they said is that I need to get rid of the margin or the uh, border on the logo image because uh, most browsers aren't HTML5 ready and aren't as good as Chrome so uh, they're by, by default there's like a, uh, an image going around the or a border going around the image so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get rid of that real quick um, now you obviously don't see it here because I'm using Chrome um, but if you're using Internet Explorer I think Firefox does it as well um, you'll have that border you'll see that border so the only thing you have to do is type in IMG and this is in our uh, CSS file you type in IMG and then our brackets and then we want to say border colon and we just want to say zero pixels Oops. zero pixels so just that that single well it could be one line that three lines of code right there that gets rid of the uh, default border on all your images so it won't be there and it won't be annoying um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to put our style our, our uh, status our status box, I guess, area up here in our header. Uh, but I need to come onto my second screen here real quick. I know it's off screen, but um, and open up the styles and then the top file. So our top that PHP. So inside of our header, inside of our header, and I'm just going to throw this before the logo. I'm going to put in a div ID equals uh, status. I guess I'll call it. So that's going to be our status area, and we're going to end the div. We're going to go to our main.css, and I'm just going to find the header right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. Um, you don't need to, but I'm gonna. And we want to put in a status style right there. And the first thing we want to do is we want to float this style. We want to float it to the right side. So it's going to be all the way over here against this side here. So, yeah, just like that. Um, so the next thing we want to do is I'm actually going to leave that blank. I am going to open up my local host. And instead of uh, FTPing up the files just yet, because my server is being slow uh, right now for some reason. Um, so I am going to pause the video, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back now, and uh, I'm on my local host, but I'm still on the register page. Um, now, we don't see anything here because uh, we haven't actually put anything inside of uh, that status area. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to indent it, and like that. So inside of our status div, we're going to put in a PHP code block. And inside of this code block, we're going to require, and we're going to require a file. It's going to be in our, uh, well, I want to put it in our scripts folder. So scripts forward slash status.php. And I keep misspelling status. There we go. So we're going to create a new file. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it out. And I'm going to put it, oh, and I'm hit backspace. And I'm put it inside of our scripts folder and call it status.php. So the first thing the uh, first thing we're going to put in this file is our PHP code block. Um, now, if we go back to our top page, at the very top of that page, our, uh, we want to put in a PHP code block. A lot of PHP code blocks. Um, now, in our login, we started our session. In on our login page, which right here, we started our session at the top of this page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to control X. So I'm going to get rid of it from the login page. 
Uh, and the reason being is because we're going to put it at the top of our top page. Um, and we don't want to have our session started twice or else we will get a, a PHP error on our page. So we're going to create a variable, uh, username equals dollar sign underscore session. So we're going to uh, start our, uh, create our session variables on our top page. So that way, any page that we include our top.php, which for the most part is every single page on our site, um, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to start the session and it's going to try and find the uh, username and also the user ID, I believe I log in with. Yeah, the user ID. Um, now the reason I do username and user ID um, is because it makes my life easier uh, later um, instead of trying to connect to the database and getting the ID we just pass both of them along in session variables so that's pretty much our top page we can go ahead and close that now in our status page we want to oh, we want to put in an if statement and we're gonna say if dollar sign username that's all we're putting inside of our if uh, code block but else we're going to echo something out so what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if a user is logged in, and if user is logged in, then the username value is going to be present, and in which case it'll run this block of code right here, um, which uh, for now all we're going to do is we're just going to echo out the username, and if the user is not logged in, we want to show them the login form. So I'm just going to actually copy and paste the inside of our form variable for our login page and I'm going to paste it inside of here. So just that right there um, will create that. So if I go ahead and refresh this page, you can see since I'm obviously not logged in, we're getting, we're seeing our uh, our login form right here. Now I don't want this button down here, I want it over here and then a link to our register page right there on the other side of that. So we're going to modify our login form here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out our submit button and I'm gonna paste it right below our password box and I'm gonna cut out that and get rid of this entire last row and paste that right there so now we have it like this inside of here we want to put just a simple link to our register page register.php and then end the link and then we'll just say register so if we refresh our page now you can see our buttons now over here and we have a register link that will take us to our register page. So all is well. Um, now the reason I can't try to log in to show you if this is working just yet is because um, if you're trying to connect to a live server on localhost using your localhost computer uh, you'll likely get an error. Um, I don't know why. It's probably because uh, how firewalls are set up especially with Windows. It blocks that so you can't connect to a live server using your local host which is really annoying um, but yeah so now what we're gonna do is on our uh, login form our register form uh, and all of our forms what I'm gonna do is for our input type equals text for our text box I'm gonna put a class on those and I'm gonna just name it text box so we're gonna put a class and we're gonna call the class text box um, and then we're going to set the same class for our password box and we're going to go to our login page and we're going to paste that in so we're putting a class for each and every one of our uh, text boxes on all of our pages so I'm going to do it for the first name last name username email password confirm password and now since our avatar is a file type uh, we don't want to put our class on that and it's not really going to affect it too much so I'm just not going to put it on um, and our website YouTube and our bio I'm also going to put it on um, because I do want to style that the same as everything else so uh, since we haven't created that style yet uh, it's not going to show anything um, so I'm going to stop this video here in the next part we will actually create that style and we will also style our buttons, so just our, uh, our standard buttons. So uh, check out the next part of the series.